Greetings and welcome to the Pivot Table project. I guess the first big question is, is why do we want to use pivot tables? Pivot tables make it easy to take a large amount of data from a spreadsheet and reduce it to create a report that collects and summarizes the data. Before starting, you need to make sure that the data in your spreadsheet has no empty rows or columns, and the first row contains a header that gives a name for each column. And also, there are no rows that contain subtotals or grand totals because we want the pivot table to provide the subtotals and grand totals. I have a sample data file that contains 246 lines with enrollments for various classes in the Computer Applications Department and Computer Information Systems Department at San Jose de College. Actually, the data in this table is fake. I used a random number generator to create the enrollment, so uh, please don't take this as actual real data values. What I have is four years worth of data for the spring and the fall semesters. So that makes like eight different pieces of data for each class. What I want to do is to reorganize the data, show the enrollments for each semester and the total for each class, and create it in a nice short report form. Now here I'm taking 246 lines of data and reducing it down to 37 lines. First thing I want to do is to go to Canvas and download the pivot table data file. Click on this guy here and I see my data. Here is the first row that contains the header information and the title for each column. I have term, department, course, title, number of units, the number of sections, and enrollments. For example, here is the 2019 fall for computer applications for the CA-10A course, which is titled Computer Keyboarding. It has one unit, three sections, and then a total of 80 students in those three sections. I can scroll down and then see the enrollments for CIS-41. CIS 41 starts off with fall of 2018. It's in the CIS department. The title of the course, CIS 41, Intro to Computer Information Systems. And actually, if I look at it, here's 2018 and 2018. So there is a separation between the regular on-campus courses and the internet enhanced courses. Each of three units has the number of sections and the enrollments. I want to combine this 2018, so I don't care whether it's the on campus or the internet enhanced. I just want a total for those and a total for all of the CIS 41 courses. And do the same thing for all of the other courses. First thing I have to do is to save the file. On a Windows system, I'll do Control S. If I was on a Mac, I'd do Command S. I'm going to save this as pivot table source text, and I'm going to put it on my desktop. And there it is. Now I don't want to click Open File. And that seems like it'd be easy, but the problem is, is this is a text file. If I say open file with .txt as the file extension, it's probably going to open up on Windows with a Notepad, or on a Mac OS, it's going to open up with text edit. I want to open up the file using LibreOffice Calc. Unfortunately, I can't just say open with LibreOffice either, because since it's a text file, LibreOffice is going to default and say, oh, this is a text file, so it's going to open up the writer program which is a, a word processor. I want it to open up with the spreadsheet program, which is Calc. So what I'm going to have to do is start up LibreOffice, select Calc, and then have Calc open up the file. So here's LibreOffice. I want to open up the Calc spreadsheet. Then I'm going to say File, Open, I'm going to my desktop and I'm going to find the pivot table uh, file. Here it is, pivot table source. It's a text document, pivot table source.txt. If I slide this over a little bit, there, I can see it's a txt. Open. Okay, here's the extra step. I want to say that this is 
separated by commas. If I don't say separated by commas, then everything's going to be on one cell instead of in different cells. So I say separated by commas. Here is my header, term, department, course, title, and this is fine. I'll say OK. Next thing I can do is to say insert, pivot table, current selection, OK. The pivot table layout makes it really easy. I don't need filters. My data, this is going to be term. And for the row and fields, I'll put in the department and the course. And the data fields, I want to summarize the enrollments. Say so I'll say OK. And it created the pivot table. When I find my pivot table down here, it's already opened. So here's my source and here's the pivot table so I can go back and forth between them. I can see starting off because I selected CA here are all my computer application courses I can see the enrollments for each semester and the total for that class. Scrolling down here is CIS 41 I can see the enrollments for each semester the total enrollments for CIS 41 and the grand total for all of my courses. So this pivot table makes it really easy to see how everything is summarized. You could even use pivot tables if you had a company with different salespeople and different products and how many different items are sold. So what I want is for you to recreate this pivot table, put it in a lab report, and then submit it. Bye for now.